saying, what's going to happen with these people? They are extremely vulnerable. They die at the age of 43, 44. Um, and there, there is well-published data uh, which suggests that if you look at their age based on frailty, uh, their age will be around 78, 79. So they're extremely vulnerable. Uh, and if they're extremely vulnerable, why are they not being vaccinated? So at least there is a one thing you can do to try to protect and preserve life. argument of saying where is our morality gone uh, why are we not protecting those people and these people who can't speak up for themselves but also starting that national debate of saying why are these people not being vaccinated and as a result of our campaign now many towns in uh, in england have started vaccinating we are still campaigning i mean it, it's, it's been well publicized in washington post and french newspapers and across the country and we started that debate where where people started asking the question of saying why not everything we're trying to do is just to stick it up basically we're just firefighting none of that is going to resolve homelessness really the work i'm doing the work other organizations doing and charities doing is just trying to support people to survive through that but what we really need to look at is how to uh, deal with the root causes which are causing the homelessness whether it's a mental health whether it's a, it's, it's unable to pay your mortgage resulting into homelessness uh, and also then look at what we can do to live in a better society where our societal objective is to support each other yeah my religion preaches me to be a good to be a good human being help others do the charities is is a is a fundamentals of islam and etc but um i think it's it's not a it's not the conversation about the religion, it's I think conversation about the humanity, which is the foundation of any religion.